What is going on, Ada Nation? Welcome to Dap Central. My name is Fareed, and in today's video, I'm excited to break some news surrounding governance in the Voltaire era finally taking flight in the Cardano network. Now, if you guys are not aware, Voltaire is going to be the upcoming Cardano roadmap phase in which we can expect governance coming onto the platform. So we've already gone through the Byron era, which was the foundation or the very beginning of Cardano. We went through Shelley or the decentralization era, as well as Gogan, in which we saw the adoption of smart contracts, followed by Basho, in which we began to see scaling. Now, last Last but not least, we are entering Voltaire or the era of governance. So that said, what we had a release of earlier today was what we can now refer to as Sancho Net. Now, Sancho Net is going to be a test net in order for us to get prepped and just kind of interact with what we can expect coming down the pipe with respect to Voltaire once that launches on the main net. So if you guys want to find out more about Sancho Net and the preparation for Cardano SIP number 1694, you can head over to Sancho.network. Now, Sancho represents the testing environment, as I mentioned earlier, for Cardano Improvement Proposal or SIP number 1694, which outlines technical specifications for on-chain governance on the Cardano network. The testnet is named in reference to Voltaire, the philosopher known for his ideas on governance and freedom of speech. Understanding that, what I want to do is take a brief review of this particular testnet website and then jump into three different roles that you guys can take within participation of governance here on the Cardano network. So it reads here at the very top, govern your own fictitious island of Barataria on the SIP 1694 Cardano playground. Scrolling down, you can become an SPO or a stake pool operator. And if you are not aware of what an SPO is, they're basically going to be the backbone, keeping the Cardano network alive and basically making sure that the network is always available when needed by regular users or members from the community. Number two, you can become a Sancho DREP. Now, the Sancho testnet will provide liquid democracy to get high voter turnout. DREPs are going to be the governing body that are elected directly through delegation of stake of the participants. So very similar to how you can vote or delegate to a stake pool in order to make that stake pool more eligible or more likely to mint a block on the network. If you want, you can also go ahead and actually delegate your votes over to a DREP, which will actually be in charge of making voting decisions for you moving forward. Now, last but not least, they are also looking to incorporate developers. And so it reads at the very bottom, calling all developers. Do you want to build a cool voting wallet? Well, how about a proposal explorer? Well, we've got a job for you. Start integrating your favorite ideas on the Sancho Net today. Now, if I jump over into the next tab, I want to quickly touch on some of the key features and benefits that we can expect in some of the phases when it comes to the development of the Sancho network. Keep in mind that right now it is in the beginning stage and they are going to be rolling out more features over the course of the next few months. So zooming in a little bit, Sancho Net is not an incentivized testnet and no real ADA is rewarded for participation. I'm happy that they noted that at the very top, making that very, very clear that this will not be incentivized. So you can participate on this platform at your own will, but there's not going to be any ADA rewards by doing so. Moving along, Sancho Net is the test net for rolling out groundbreaking governance features for the Cardano blockchain, aligning with the comprehensive SIP number 1694 specifications. Now, as Sancho Net advances in its journey to implement and roll out some of the features, the community is encouraged to embrace specific roles crucial for testing and refining the governance mechanisms. So we're going to quickly touch on all three of those roles. Role number one is going to be a test ADA holder. As a test ADA holder, your role is paramount. You can engage in crafting and submitting governance actions, and your insights will be invaluable to ensure that the governance system upholds the highest standards of security and efficiency. Number two is going to be SPOs, or stake pool operators. Now, SPOs are the backbone of any network, and here on Sancho Net, that is no different. As an SPO, you can take charge and 
run the testnet network with diligence and integrity. And of course, you can influence Baratari's future voting on relevant actions. Your feedback will be invaluable. So not only can you still vote, but you actually be running some of the core infrastructure to uphold this particular test net. Number three is going to be delegate representatives or DREPs. Now DREPs are going to be the voice of the broader community. And as a rep, your role involves participating in voting on governance actions, and you can consider yourself the collective interests of the community as you engage in these important decisions. Again, for anybody who doesn't feel comfortable voting on these actions themselves, can delegate their votes over to a DREP that'll make that much more informed decision for them or on their behalf. Now, a little bit more about the actual development of Sancho Net and some disclaimers here, given the fact that this is under construction. It reads Sancho Net is all about developing and testing the technical components and processes required to action governance for Cardano within SIP number 1694. It informs and engages the Cardano community on Voltaire on chain governance activities currently underway. Now, Sancho Net is more than just a test net. It's a playground of opportunities, and within this space, the community can collaboratively create a governance system that is robust, decentralized, and truly community-driven. Now, your involvement, dedication, and passion will be the driving force behind Sancho Net's success. So as a part of Sancho Net Phase 1, which has been completed, so right now we are in that Phase 1, we have the ability to submit new constitution governance actions, then SPOs can actually begin voting, and then followed by that, we'll have an anchor or a hash slash URL of the constitution, which will be on chain. As a part of Sancho Net Phase 2, we can expect DREP registration, DREP delegation, and DREP voting. As a part of Sancho Net Phase 3, we can expect the ability to submit governance actions, the ability to vote on information surrounding those governance actions, as well as see the results of said votes, again, surrounding governance actions. As a part of Phase number 4, we'll have the protocol parameter and treasury actions, as well as the ability to vote on those, and then vote as well on treasury withdrawals or how the Cardano treasury funds should be spent. Now, as a part of Sancho Net phase number five, we'll have the ability to vote on a new committee, as well as vote no confidence, or vote as a CC member. I'm not too sure what a CC member is. We'll see if I can get some clarity surrounding that. But jumping into the very last phase there um, as a part of Sancho Net phase number six, in which we'll be able to submit Hark Fork governance actions, SPOs and DREPs will be able to vote on those. And then we'll actually be able to see those being enacted as a part of that very last phase. Now, if I jump over into the actual rows here, we have some instructions surrounding how to become an SPO on the testnet, which basically involves downloading the node version 8.21 pre running that node, requesting funds from a faucet, and then registering that particular um, stake pool or registering a particular stake pool and then requesting delegation from the faucet. You can also go ahead and register as a DREP. They provide some of those actions down below. But keep in mind that right now, as a part of phase number one, that you will not be able to vote as a DREP. I think that kicks in as a part of phase number two. Scrolling down, again, we have some instructions for developers here who are looking to get involved. And I think that is going to do it here for today's video. So if you guys want to find out more about Sancho Net, again, check out their website. Exciting times ahead for Cardano, given the fact that we are expecting SIP number 1694 to come online on the main net. If you guys are not aware, we already had an experimental vote taking place on the network surrounding the K parameter and the min pool cost. And I believe on August 23rd, we are waiting to get a confirmation as to whether or not there will be a change to the min pool cost. So we're already seeing some of the Voltaire era coming online. And I think this is just the beginning as this actually comes out on the main net. And as we fine tune and refine a lot of this process, I think Cardano is going to be set to have one of the best governance platforms compared to any other network or any other cryptocurrency. So let me know what you guys think down below. Have you guys already checked out Sancho Net? Are you going to be participating as a DREP, as a developer or as an SPO? I'm super excited to see exactly how you guys will be interacting with this. Now, I personally will be looking into becoming a DREP as well as an SPO. 
I mean, I'm already an SPO, but I would love to be able to also kind of weigh in given the community's backing on certain governance actions in the near future. Now, as I mentioned, that is going to do it here for today's video. If you found any of this information to be helpful or insightful in any way, shape or form, I would appreciate you if you could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you want more content like this surrounding Cardano and the latest breaking news, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for me surrounding anything that we touched on for today's video, then make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.